This salad is everything you need. Wow. And I mean, that's uh, saying a lot that's for true, a, but it's saying a lot for a broccoli salad. What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. Um, so remember those veggies that your parents had to force you to eat as a child? Oh yeah. We made a whole salad out of them. Woo! But we made them taste good. Yes. I mean, I always thought broccoli tasted sure good. Sure you did, Catherine. Sure you did. I was a good child. Sure you were. <laughs> what is really rude. Why don't you share with the class what you made today? <laughs> <laughs> I made a roasted broccoli and kale salad with a roasted, a, okay, with a creamy roasted garlic dressing. <laughs> That's it. That's it. There's some roasted chickpeas in here too. We roasted stuff. Yeah. That's how I eat salads. You gotta roast stuff. Actually, no, that's true. Cook salad? No, yeah. Salads with like roasted stuff in them tend to taste better. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's just a fact. Because it's not just greens. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's delicious. All right, should we go make it? I guess so. Okay. To make our roasted broccoli and kale salad with creamy roasted garlic dressing, <laughs> so many roasted things, we are going to first take three cups of frozen broccoli and add that to a large bowl and just kind of toss that in about a tablespoon of oil, a pinch of salt and pepper and toss until it's nice and coated. Then we're gonna place that on a lined baking sheet and just set that aside. Next up, we're going to roast one can of chickpeas. To do that, we need to drain and rinse one can of chickpeas and using a cloth or a paper towel, just kind of pat them dry and rub them dry. This will peel off a lot of their skins. You can include the skins in the baking. Those add some nice flaky textures or you can remove those so that they don't kind of get in the way and burn. We're gonna add those to our large bowl along with about a tablespoon of oil a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and a teaspoon of cumin, and just kind of toss to get those all nice and coated. Put those on a separate small lined baking sheet and set them aside. Finally, we are going to prepare for our roasted garlic. So you're gonna cut about a half an inch off the top of a garlic bulb so that you can kind of see all the tops of all the garlic cloves. Then we're going to wrap that in some tin foil with the opening at the top, drizzle that with a little bit of oil, sprinkle with some salt and pepper, and just seal that closed. Then we're gonna bake all of that in an oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. The roasted garlic will take about 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. The broccoli and the roasted chickpeas take about 40 to 45 minutes. So while that's all baking, we can get everything else prepared. So we are going to cut up about two cups of kale. We want it really fine chopped, so almost like shredded kale so that it's easier to kind of bite into. We're gonna add that to a large bowl and drizzle it with about a quarter of a lemon's worth of juice and just massage the lemon juice into the kale so that it's nice and tender and easier to eat. Then we're going to slice up one small red onion and add that to a bowl and set that aside. Okay, while everything else is baking and everything is set aside, we're going to add a half cup of hemp seeds to a high-speed blender along with a third cup of water and just kind of let it sit there for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the hemp seeds kind of absorb water and it makes for a creamier sauce. Okay, so once the roasted garlic has finished cooking, we're just gonna remove it from the oven and let it sit for about five-ish minutes so that it cools down. Now we're going to add all of our dressing ingredients to a high-speed blender. So to do that, we want to scoop out all of those roasted cloves of garlic just using a fork and toss that into the blender along with a teaspoon of oil, a pinch of salt and pepper, a half a lemon's worth of juice, a teaspoon of capers, a tablespoon of mustard, a teaspoon of maple syrup, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then we're just gonna blend that all together until it's nice and smooth. Depending on how much water your hemp seeds soaked in, you may need to add another teaspoon or two of water just to thin out the dressing a little bit. Finally, once the broccoli and the chickpeas have finished cooking, we're going to remove both from the oven. For the broccoli, we're just going to roughly chop that a little bit into smaller bite-sized pieces so you can get a lot of broccoli throughout the whole salad. Then we're going to toss that in with the kale along with the chickpeas and the sliced onion and drizzle that in dressing and enjoy.
salad. It actually really does. I mean, it's kind of a version of Caesar salad. Pretty close. Yeah. Trying to get all the pieces. <laughs> did you get an onion? You didn't no. even get an onion. What did you get when you were Broccoli. down there? Broccoli! When I was down there. Calm down. All right, you know what? Can we just eat this? No. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Too many creamy things today. <laughs> You're so gross. It was really good. It reminds me of something. It was very good. Yeah? It was a very good dressing. I agree. It definitely kind of like... What's the right word to use here? I don't know. Softens all the vegetable taste. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like you're eating salad at all. That's what I'm saying. I'm not really a salad person. But this is pretty good. I would throw some tempeh in this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That and tempeh marinade that we always do? That one. And if I was taking this for lunch, I'd be sure to have a pack of gum afterwards. Because you're going to have I'm garlic gonna breath. You know what you're going to be really good in here? Avocado. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yes. Avocado and tempeh in this. Yeah. That's how you turn it into a whole lunch. I'm just right now, it's just a side salad. <laughs> yeah, it's just a side salad. <laughs> well, if we had more friends. <laughs> This is actually like a fairly healthy salad because it's like the base of the dressing, like our Caesar salad dressing, is hemp seeds. Mm -hmm. That is a lot of protein. Excellent. So all you non-vegans. <laughs> <laughs> so all you non-vegans out there who are wondering where we get our protein, there's lots of protein in salad. The in this salad. The hemp seeds, the chickpeas, if you threw in tempeh. Well, yeah, I wonder how much protein is in this bowl. I don't know. I want to do math things. Right now? Yep. Because like one cup is 200 grams. Okay. So I feel like it's more like one cup of chickpeas. Yeah. 200 grams. 39 grams of protein. Just the chickpeas. Let's look up hemp seeds now. So about a quarter cup of hemp seeds provide about 11 grams of protein. So we're up to 50 grams. Holy crap. In this whole salad. Mm -hmm. Which I think as a meal could be shared amongst two people. Yeah. And if you added tempeh to this... Protein off the charts. Yeah. Well, right off. Even avocado. Isn't there some protein in avocado? I oh, no, that's know. fat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. But your healthy fats? Guys, this salad is everything you need. Wow. And I mean, that's uh, saying I don't know a lot that's for true, a. But... It's saying a lot for a broccoli salad. Gosh, why do you hate broccoli so much? I don't. I just think the I broccoli. I love broccoli. It has a bad rep. It has a bad rep. That's what I'm saying. I wonder if broccoli has protein in it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have a question. Oh my god, you have a question. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What is the best solution for garlic breath? <laughs> <laughs> Be around people with garlic breath. Make sure everyone has eaten the salad so that everyone has equally garlicky breath. Bring this for a potluck. <laughs> I'm thinking like this would be a nice salad to take to work, but then uh, I'll just be self-conscious about my breath. Yeah, is gum a good thing for garlic breath? Or, or just, you know, something else. you could brush your teeth. That's true. <laughs> kind of weird to brush your teeth at work, though. I don't have like I've a... seen a lot of people brush their I teeth know. at work. Is that something you do? All right, so let's talk about garlic breath in the comments. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about garlic breath and what other food gives you bad breath. And what to do about it, because yeah. I want to eat this, but... She can't until she knows the solution. Yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> as usual, the recipe will be linked in the description box below as well as a link to our podcast. Be sure to go check that out. Subscribe to it so you don't miss any of our episodes. We talk about veganism. We talk about uh, photography and videography. We talk about our blog. We just kind of explore different topics and share our thoughts. It looks like a wreath. Our, what are you doing? I'm making it a wreath. Okay. Um, that's adorable. <laughs> right? Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays every, every other Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye. That's it. <laughs> That's all we got for you today. So, uh, garlic. Garlic on. Thumbs up for garlic. Yeah. Like this video if you love garlic. We do too. Okay. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Calm down. That's the garlic. Oh. <laughs> Drunk off garlic. I just want to sit down. <laughs> you have to clean up. I think stuff. I want to be horizontal. <laughs>
<laughs> Not with you. I think there's been too many creamy things today that I've been eating. Okay, stop doing that. No, I just don't see why it's a problem. I don't know. It's just like weighing things down. <laughs> You're feeling heavy? Yeah. Well, we ate, a we ate a lot of carbs today. I caught this roasted broccoli and kale salad. Is that accurate? Or um, should I add a different type of word in there?